Well, it's hard to decide which character makes us laugh the most on the hit NBC show, Mr. Mayor. But one we can always count on is the quirky interim director of communications, Jaden, played by Bobby Moynihan. Take a look. What are you doing? Hold on a second. The conspiracy countdown with Professor Weirdo. You're not even trying to help Mayor Bremmer. Well, you're trying way too hard. Guapas, we want this recall to happen, right? If this thing happens, we're going to move fast. You need to be ready to tell the mayor you quit. But the man I turn to when I'm confused is the very man you want me to betray. Well, good luck with that, Iago. Well, I'm the parrot from Aladdin? No, he's so mean. <laughs> And Bobby joins us now. Welcome back. It is Hi. so good to see you. So Happy to see here you too. in the studio. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a while. Two years since I've been back. Yeah. Well, listen, so the, the show is coming to an end of season two. Yeah. I was just telling you during that clip how much I love this show. And, like, you never know if shows are going to hit or if they're going to be a flop. This show is clearly a hit. People love this show. What do you think it is that people are loving about this or reacting to? Um, Tina's writing, Tina and Robert's writing, yeah. uh, it, it's that alone, it, it, it's got that pedigree that right there and it's just so good. Holly and Ted and Vela and Mike and the whole cast, uh, yeah. uh, they're wonderful. Kyla, everybody's the best. I love those guys. It's, uh, it's like, I feel like I want a second TV lottery. Yeah, it, absolutely. Yeah. And it really is such a fantastic <laughs> cast. I love everybody on it. But you know, I, what I love about this too, it started from the, from the get go with your character, Jaden, that we learned these random, yeah. unique things about him, <laughs> like week after week, fascinating things. Do you have any favorite qualities about Jaden? Oh, every one, every week there's a new one. Yeah. I mean, like we found, he feeds his turtle with his own mouth. Like yeah. he's very, he's a very tender, gentle man. Yeah. But then <laughs> there was like one episode things. where he was raging about things. And... Yeah, I think he has wanted a house with floor drains because he spilled a lot. There's a lot of specifics <laughs> about Jaden, a lot of weird things. Yeah, do you contribute to these or is it all from the mind of Tina Fey and the writers? Uh, Tina and Robert do most of it. I, I pitch a couple things here and there if I get it in. I think I pitch that Jaden Jaden's middle name was Pinkett Smith. <laughs> He was Jaden Pinkett Smith. I don't know. I don't think it got in though. No, it didn't get in. Well, that would have been a good one. But uh, we interviewed Vela uh, not long oh, ago. Oh, the best. She's the greatest. She's so nice. She's I interviewed so her during funny the pandemic season. too. Um, but she gave us the inside scoop. We asked her about this uh, Mr. Mayor musical episode, <laughs> and she gave us the inside scoop on your unique talent that you're actually a fantastic dancer and that you tap dance on set. Is this true? And how come we didn't know this before? Uh, I took tap when I was younger. Yeah, I, I am not good in, in any way, shape, or form anymore. Um, but, but you yeah, can step all fun. change. Uh, yeah, I can still do. I mean, yeah, it's still up here. It's just not down there anymore. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah I, I always beg Vela that we should do, uh, like, Battle of the Network Stars, but Mr. Mayor should do, like, a musical. Like, it's just Ted Dancing in Chicago. I love it. So I, you're yeah, on board for this. I'm 100% on board. We're on board for this, so we've yeah. got to make that happen. <laughs> Come on, NBC. Yeah. It's right but there. You aren't just acting. You're also creating as well. Your series, Lightning Wolves. I mean, so you created it. You voice it. You direct it. You produce it. It just premiered last month. What can you tell us about this? Uh, it's called Lightning Wolves. It's kind of loosely based on those 80s cartoons like He-Man, Voltron, yes. Thundercat. Uh, G.I. Joe, those kind of 80s cartoons that were there to teach you life lessons, but they were actually really just there to sell you toys. And yes. it's, a, it's about a bunch of uh, characters that slowly realize that they're being used to sell toys. Okay. <laughs> and, and also, you have a new kids book coming out. You're, yeah. You have a four-year-old now. I'm, yeah. I imagine that... that your four-year-old inspired you writing this book? Uh, very much so, yeah. I wanted something for her to read. Lightning Wolves is not for her. It's very, there's cursing. Right, um, <laughs> right. But the children's book uh, is, uh, is, is for her. Uh, it's called Not All Sheep Are Boring. It's about a little toad who, you know how uh, people count sheep to fall asleep? Yeah. Uh, but he's trying to tell you not all sheep are boring. But uh, he's wrong. And all sheep are kind of boring. Uh -huh. and, he falls asleep by the end. <laughs> oh, I love that. Well, um, another animated series you're doing, because you're like the king of animation, uh, voiceover work. Every time I see something, I'm like, I think that's Bobby. That's Bobby. There's Bobby. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Uh, yeah. But um, Nature Cat, you're, re you're reuniting with some of your SNL castmates, yeah. former SNL castmates. What can you tell us about who you play? Uh, I play Hal the dog on Nature Cat. Uh, he's insane. He's a little crazy dog. He's wonderful. Uh, Taryn Killam uh, plays Nature Cat. Uh, Kate McKinnon's also on there. Uh, Kate McCucci. Uh, <laughs> Um, Keenan Thompson was on there for a bit. Yeah, it's uh, uh, it's the best. It's great to work with old friends. Yeah, and but you're not really together with them for this, though, really. In right? my heart. In your heart, no. yes, yes. <laughs> All right, well, I, in my heart, I am so happy because you came here to visit us today. Same here. And you can catch Mr. Mayor tonight at 8.30 p.m. on NBC. So good to see you. So good to see you, too. Thank yeah. you for having me. Of Hi, course, everybody. anytime.